I wish I'd known the importance of fertility testing for men. I'm Jen, I'm 31 years old, and my husband and I dealt with male factor infertility. Um, I think as women, we tend to assume that the problem is ours when we can't get pregnant. I know we tried for about a year with no success, and I just assumed that my reproductive organs were completely useless. Um, so we started to see a fertility doctor, and they were pretty aggressive with testing me. Um, I had HSG to check my uterus and fallopian tubes. I had laparoscopic surgery to check for endometriosis. I had lots of blood work. All of that came back normal. Um, so they suggested that we try a clomid cycle, and we did that. It was a colossal failure, of course. <laughs> And um, so then we moved on to Clomid with IUI. Um, that, of course, didn't work. And I remember the day that we found out we had male factor infertility was when I went in for my blood work for the IUI cycle. And I went by myself because I tested at home. I knew I wasn't pregnant. I just, I'm just a glutton for punishment and thought I should confirm it in blood work. So um, my doctor went over the negative results with me. And then at the end of the appointment, he just casually said, Oh, and by the way, your husband's semen analysis results came back in. <laughs> Looks like you need to do in vitro. And I wish I was kidding. That's exactly how he said it. It was awful. Um, so we changed doctors at that point, and we did get another semen analysis done, and we found out that we had male factor infertility, and it was a morphology issue. So really, IVF was our, our best option at that point, and... It was really hard to deal with. It was a tough couple months when we realized that um, we probably would never get pregnant on our own and that we'd have to have advanced science to help us out. But um, we had to do what we had to do because we knew we wanted a family. And that first in vitro cycle didn't work. Um, and when I look back at that period of time after that IVF failure, um, you know, I'm not really proud of the way that I reacted or maybe the way that I treated other people, but... We were just in survival mode at that point, so um, I'd say that was a tough period for us. We moved forward with another fresh cycle right away, and that one was successful, and we have a daughter. And then we also did a frozen embryo transfer from that same batch and had another daughter. So, you know, it did work out for us in the end, but looking back, I wish we had known to skip that first three, four, five months of trying with no chance of success and we would have known that if we had had him tested right away so I wish I had known to have my husband tested